Hey everybody and welcome to another fun journaling video. In today's video I am going to be making my February cover page and I'm just going to be using some supplies that I just got in from my best friend Sarah. She has an Etsy store and had these listings that were absolutely stunning. She had made these beautiful tags that held vintage postage and they were vintage playing cards like there's a lot going on there but she did a phenomenal job and I was blown away by the quality of it when she was show them showing them to me I had to purchase them and um, this piece of dictionary paper that I just ripped funnily enough was actually what she wrapped my entire order in and it is a dictionary page that actually has treasury on it and Sarah and I are both huge Hamilton fans and I thought it was really sweet that she used the dictionary page that said treasury because Alexander Hamilton was the first treasury secretary and her and I are totally into small little things like that and I had to save the page. Unfortunately the page number had like the worst number you can have and so it was all the bad juju so I had to cover it up and so I make a way about doing that. I will leave the link to Sarah's Etsy shop and her Instagram account if you guys are interested in seeing some of the things that she has available now. Um, she's always got an amazing selection of vintage postage, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. Um, but these particular cards that she made were just stunning. Um, she also had for sale these French flower seed labels and they were stunning. I was so happy that she had some and her selection is incredible. I have never had this many in like my possession ever and to have this many of these is just such a real treasure and I don't know where she finds this stuff. She's got amazing connections or like all the skills <laughs> but um, yeah I was super happy to have one. So I just grabbed one that I thought would be pretty. It's a big piece so I wanted to make sure that I wasn't overpowering the page much with it and I actually cheat a little bit and just use a lot of the freebies that she included and then the actual um, tea bag she used a tea bag to hold all of her freebies and she sealed it and perforated it so that you could just tear the top off and it was just overflowing with all of these tiny little bits it was such an experience I have to say like she nailed it with presentation and I have to give her like top top points for that for sure <laughs> so I just used one of the vintage floral stamps that were included in the purchase I did purchase two I purchased a vintage um like antique stamp pack and then I purchased the uh, floral pack because you guys know how I feel about my flowers. Um, this is the tea bag right here. I actually just disassemble it because it was collaged so beautifully on its own that I decided to just cheat and use what she'd already done as a layer on what I was doing to help try to cover up that page. So I do want to apologize for the quality of the video. I did have some technical issues with the audio and needed to recover the video, but in order to recover it, I lost some of the quality. Um, so I just figured a lower quality versus no vid video at all would be all right with you guys. So I'm just continuing on to glue all of those little bits down. And yeah, I like the way this ends up in the end. I feel bad because um, it's only one page and I normally don't just do like a single page videos um, but there was a lot going on I did a lot of layering and clustering and um, I do another fun technique at the end of the video that I thought um, was worth watching and worth the content of just doing this one single page so I hope that everybody is doing well and having a good February so far. I know we're halfway through the month at this point, but um, I have been super, super busy with everything going on over here. I am just really loving the Patreon um, situation that I've got going on. It's really, really fun. Um, 
curating these kits has really been interesting for me. Not interesting in a bad way, but just like always on the hunt for the next thing that I want to include or the next theme or I don't know. I just, I really have enjoyed that whole process. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I will leave the link for that if you're interested. I'm definitely not trying to convince anybody to come over and be a patron, but um, I think I've been killing it. I'm just gonna play it cool and just say that, but <laughs> I think I've, I've been nailing it. I've been really lucky at the antique shops lately finding some really fun things, and I've enjoyed that. So I hope that the wind chimes aren't bothering you guys. If you can hear that in the background, I hope it's not too loud. Um, but yeah, so I hope everybody is doing well and staying healthy and enjoying the weather right now. Um, it was actually kind of hot today. It was really humid. It was in the eighties and it was really humid and it was so bizarre. I mean, it's February and most of the country is covered in ice and snow right now. And it was actually hot today. So I don't know about all that, but we'll see. <laughs> Something else that I have really been enjoying this month is doing Inko Rimo in February. It is Inko Rimo, which is where you write a letter every single day. And I have taken the past couple days off and I sort of feel bad, but I also sort of don't because I've written like 30 letters and probably the same amount of postcards already. So... I'm trying not to get down on myself for taking a couple days off, but I had to do all of my kits for Patreon, and I had two different collaboration packages come in. Sorry, I had a hiccup. Um, and just had a lot of content that I had to work on, and so I, I took a couple days off and worked through nap time instead of writing my letters, and I was really getting my butt kicked with allergies as well. So I was pretty tanked by the end of the day and succumbed to my Benadryl <laughs> a little too early in the night. So uh, I'm going get, to get back on board with that, but I have really enjoyed doing that and I've gotten a bunch of new things in to sort of play around with that. So I'm excited for that content to come out. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun, but um, yeah, I'm actually going to be doing some embossing, which is why you're watching me stamp invisible ink onto this paper. I have really been into embossing the past couple months, and I started getting into it because of Patreon. I needed to do some customized things for my patrons, and I figured embossing would be a fun way to try to do that. And so now I'm embossing all the things, and I'm loving it. Um, the only thing I wish that was on the market that doesn't seem to be is a finer tip of um, embossing um, stuff. I don't know. I just feel like the, the embossing pens with the, with the special ink on the market are just a little too broad and I wish there was a finer nib of one. So maybe I will figure out a way to turn it into like calligraphy ink. And so I think that would be really fun to use like a dip pen. Um, and emboss that, but I have not, if you guys know about anything like that, like a sticky ink that could be used as a, um, a dip pen, that would be really fun. I would love to do that. Anyway, so I'm cleaning this up. Um, I spared you a lot of the cleanup, um, but now I'm going to go ahead and apply my heat and um, a hint, and I don't know if I've said this in the past, but a hint of what I do with my heat gun is you actually have to allow your heating element to warm up a little bit and you can see the, um, the, tr the change right there, which is super magical. You have to allow your heating element to warm up a little bit and so I just hold it in front of my hand until it's too hot to hold it there and then I know my heating element is warm enough to go ahead and emboss. If you don't wait for it to warm up, you're just going to blow your um, your powder everywhere. And so it's really important to really let that heating element um, heat up a little bit before you just apply it, that um, the edge of it to your powder. So anyway, totally moving on. I was using a telegram to do that, which is also hilarious. 
<laughs> um, but I thought it was fun. It's a great way to add another texture and technique into this. Um, and I'm pretty much done at this point, but I hope that you have enjoyed this video all the same. If you have any questions, like always, please feel free to leave them down below. If you're not a subscriber, I would encourage you to do so. And as I said before, I will leave all the links for Sarah's um, information down below. So if you're interested in checking out her shop, um, you can definitely do that. And, um, all the links for me as well will be down below if you guys are curious about anything else. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will catch you guys later. Have an awesome day. Bye.